Hey, this is Chris. How you doing? Staying abreast of the latest technology here. I'm trying to decide which business this should, this should go under. Hmm. I don't think it goes under any business. We'll just keep we'll just keep this under keeping it real. How about that? <clears throat> My bank has a slogan, it's Union Bank of North Carolina, it says we want to get to know you better, or we just want to get to know you, I don't know, something like that, which is ironic, because they have this feature called remote deposit, and so when I get a check from a customer, I can scan it with my smartphone through an app, and it deposits it in my account and so I don't have to go to the branch and so I have not been to my branch now in six months and so they're not going to get to know me better <laughs> and the same thing is happening at State Employees Credit Union I was going through the <clears throat> I stopped at the ATM the other day I don't usually use ATMs because there's fees and whatever and I know that uh, Generally speaking, state employees does not charge fees, but still, you know, old habits get ingrained. You just get used to like going into the parking lot, park your car, you go in, you wait. And I've kind of noticed lately that they're not quite as well staffed as they used to be. I mean, it used to be like they always had plenty of tellers, and you never really had to wait more than a few minutes. And I don't mind waiting a few minutes, but I do mind waiting like 10 minutes. And so, like two weeks ago, I was going, I went through the drive through because I wanted to get some cash out. And I have not seen this on any other ATM, but I noticed that there were two places to make deposits on the ATM machine. One was for cash, one was for checks. I thought, I am going to have to, the next time I need to make a deposit, I'm going to have to check this out. And so, sure enough, a couple days later, I had some cash. I rolled through the ATM lane. There were like six people in each lane of the drive through So that was definitely a no-go. I rolled through the ATM, inserted my card, my chip-enabled card. It gave me the instructions what to do. I said I wanted to make a deposit. Didn't ask me how much. Just said, Put your cash in that cash slot over there, so I did, and voila. It probably in less than, I bet it didn't take two minutes. It and, it and it was only because I was unfamiliar with the procedure. It was totally, totally awesome. I thought, you know what, that's, that's eight minutes of my life I didn't have to waste going inside the branch. And, and so I've done that ever since, and it takes checks too. I just have to put it in the check slot. It is totally amazing. I mean, it's not technologically amazing. It's just amazing that somebody finally figured out that, you know, people really don't want to wait in line. And, but on the other hand, if State Employees Credit Union's motto was, we want to get to know you better, well, they wouldn't get to know me either. But you know what? Let's be honest. Banks really don't want to get to know you. They just want to make money off your money. So, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm fine with that. That's their deal. But anything that saves me precious time out of my day, anything that can help, that is secure. And it's like, well, how can it not be secure? And let's face it, you know, even with a remote deposit, you don't have to worry about somebody stealing your check. What you have to worry about is somebody hacking your bank's main computer, which you have absolutely no control over anyway. So, I mean, you know, it's like just the fact that you're putting money in a bank means if something goes wrong, well, of course, there's insurance, right? FDIC, which is a joke, but it still works because every time it doesn't, the taxpayer, <clears throat> excuse me, the taxpayers are asked to bail it out. And so, you know, until the until the well actually runs dry, you know, banks are still pretty secure. So it doesn't matter how you interact with them. But it's just, I just thought it was funny that <clears throat> in the age of electronics, it kind of it does. It kind of uh, pushes people apart. But then again, I don't know that my relationship with any teller was ever all that important anyway. 
and given the way that banks transfer tellers around because they obviously recognize the, the danger of getting to know you better. <laughs> isn't it? It's so ironic, isn't it? It's ironic on two levels now. <clears throat> it's ironic because banks really don't want to get to know you better. They just they just want to say that to make you feel warm and fuzzy. And then they provide all these options that that mean you don't have to interact with them on a personal level at any stage of anything you do. And I'm perfectly good with that. One day I guess there won't be tellers. I guess that's Right, isn't that the obvious end game here? There won't be any tellers. Anyway, got any questions or comments? <clears throat> Please leave them in the section below. Like and subscribe. We really do appreciate when you do. Every once in a while, you know, I think I think we make a video that, that means something. I think this is one of those. Usually it's just like, hey, we spent the weekend with the grandkids or whatever. <clears throat> and those are important to us, but I know they're really, you know, how important can they be to you, really? weekly update well it's good to catch up but after that but serious thoughts about what's going on in society philosophical you know musings sort of those <clears throat> of course you know I can be totally wrong they're important to me let's let's just leave it at that it's important to me therefore I post I think therefore I post like and subscribe appreciate when you do see you on the next one